Hello again truth seekers in this new video of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle exposing the shocking reality behind their beautiful world. Welcome back to our podcast for more delicious chit chat ladies and gents. Well, take a seat with your snacks and get ready to learn all the tea on this week's royal family issue that is rocking our boat. I have followed the saga of Harry and Meghan as it has been played out more dramatically than in any Shakespearean play or soap opera with plots that question credibility. What follows is the most powerful volume of our Sussex saga to date. Yes, it would seem a great deal the same as King Charles has had enough of his rogue son and Hollywood other half. But before we get into this bombshell news, click on the subscribe button and finally tap that notification bell stand if you haven't. Be sure to check this space because you wouldn't want to be on the outside of what promises to be a powder keg but now, according to recent murmurs from the palace grapevine, it seems that Charles has effectively shown Harry and Meghan the door for good. Can you fathom it? In other words, as confirmed by the king of family and tradition, and that includes all branches, the king has stated for me they are no longer royalty nor family. Now some of you might be thinking, Harry and Meghan did step down from their royal duties voluntarily didn't they? To which I say, oh, sweet child you have not an inkling of the reality surrounding power games. If anyone was going to be doing the exotic Californian flit, it would surely not have been Harry Meghan but they clearly overestimated their ability to get back in. I suspect they were BSing themselves in a way that into which no one can seriously buy, where they could be both Hollywood stars and cherished royals at once. But King Charles is not of the same thought. Let's unpack this, shall we? Well, that's useless, they say the King Charles and Prince William Bruce royal expert Christopher Anderson tell to believe me you have gotten out so far from US that no good can come of this. That is a nice way to say you have burned everything, even the ashes, and there are none of those bridges anymore. Anderson believes that there is absolutely no chance they will ever be allowed to return. This may sting. Consider yourself rejected by your own father as if he were saying, you're not in my family anymore. That is not just some Christmas dinner one missed out on. This about being forever kicked out from one of the prestigious institutions in all World Wide Web. There's more to it. Suggest that even if Prince Harry begs for mercy, groveling at the feet of the king before heard offers would be forthcoming from the Buckingham Palace household. Can you picture it? Prince Harry, a once cherished member of the royals, turned royal version of Oliver Twist as, with head hung low and cup in hand on bended knee he does what any self-respecting prince would stoop so far to do, begs for table scraps. So shut the hell up, and let me finish my line. Jaws music plays in background, we sat upright with a start when I said that Lord Euron's desk was suddenly relevant at our side province. Then, of course we have Meghan. The former actress who thought she was going to live a dream and then realized it was more like the worst nightmare. She must be very unhappy with how things are going down. Without them royal links, who is she? You mean some of those Netflix half-formed pitches and a podcast that died faster than ice between Spotify agreement rounds? I get it, some of you Meghan lovers are ready to come out and stand up for her. Surely she could not let this happen to her. Harry's the thing she gave up everything for. But did she truly? As far as I know, Meghan went from C-lister to global superstar. She might not be a royal, but she still has worldwide name recognition, one hell of a megaphone and, oh yeah, that place in Montecito. But here's the real kicker, folks. Pressed, Anderson warns that if Harry and Meghan continue to milk their titles for all they are worth it can only make things worse. In other words, the more they commercialize their royal name, the less regal it looks. That is almost a perversion of that old saying. The more tightly you hold, the further clusters of stars will slip from your own hands. Except this time, it's their royal title that is being crushed. What do the Sussexes have to lose, then? For this mastermind, the best approach would be to prostitute their local celebrity status, Californially, and raise even higher brand value without being too greedy on Sussex-Windsor connections. 
They need to stop thinking of themselves as royals and start acting like any other pair on a tinsel town that is already full up with couples. Yet, to face the facts. Can Harry and Meghan really give up their royal connection so carelessly? It seems unlikely. Rebels, outsiders who flouted the rules from within an institution in which their very identity was that they were quasi-royal. What if they never received this? Just some well-off couple in California with plenty of time on their hands? Let us not overlook the deals they signed with companies such as Netflix and Spotify. Did it get those partnerships to Harry's loud hammering or Meghan fucking the camera? Unlikely. Those sort of deals were probably signed up because they traded on the wonderment that is royal intrigue, feeding off every grain with regard to royalty. But if they get off this story, those big checks could disappear. But even if they pull off a successful rebrand as average celebrities, the hatred will likely remain, making it well-nigh impossible for them to reunite with William and the monarchy. Thus they end up somewhere in what seems like an impossible place, both damned if they cling to royalty and damned if they try shed all manner of symbolic coconut shell. The sobering reality that their own family, the very people who were supposed to give them unconditional love would never forgive well down no doubt far less smoothly at a $14 million mansion. Then, well go to William last remember the friendship between him and Harry? The royal bromance that captured the world's heart? Those days are long gone it seems, now that William appears to back the senior royal's game plan for Harry and Meghan. What a family dynamic change of pace. Maybe, maybe, this was what Harry and Meghan had always wanted. Or perhaps being back was never in their plan. The reconciliation and the healing talks could have been nothing but a facade. Also, they have taken quite nicely to California, in what must be a plush and cuddly bed. They have the sun on their backs and beaches at Christmas, why would they wish to swap all that for royal duty in rainy old England? But we've got to imagine that late at night, the what-ifs must haunt them. Do they regret leaving? All that power and the glamour of being part of a monarchy. Do they miss it all? Or maybe they are just busy on their latest Netflix check. What of their children, Archie and Lilibet? torn from the bosom of family for two years during crucial stages in development. Will the kids grow up hating their parents for doing something drastic and depriving them of all royal roots? Or will they be grateful for being brought up under the protective shield of British media glare? There are no easy answers, how could there be when it is such a complex situation, but one thing seems clear, the royal family has closed ranks. After all, King Charles has spoken and his word is final. For better or for worse, Harry and Meghan are on their own. What, then awaits Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Or, will they pack their bags to cut ties with the monarchy and pave a new way for themselves? Or will they hold on to their titles and be expelled from the royal inner circle? What is at least a guarantee, whatever they choose to do will be front-page news. But come on, Harry and Meghan could make enough headlines without their official royal status complimenting them. And maybe this is a new start for them. It may end up being the best thing that ever happened to them so far, not associating with all those royals anymore. Or it could spell your demise. Time will reveal the outcome. But I will be here and there to monitor what happens, read between the lines of any statements released about WebOS from third parties and report on all of it. The Harry and Meghan show might be finally reaching its last episode, but it is not likely to go quietly. So the age-old question, was King Charles right to excommunicate Harry and Meghan for good, or should he forgive them completely? Harry and Meghan, a year of Megxits and mishaps are Harry and Meghan really better off without the firm, or have they made the biggest blunder ever? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and click here to like subscribe never miss an episode of the Royal Vlog. Watch the clip below and stay tuned for more explosive teaser clips here on our YouTube, for all the latest news from the world of the Royal Family, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we will return soon with more Royal Family Intrigue. Goodbye for now.